So anywhere you need it. 90 seconds if your knuckles are hurting or your wrist or your arm. Just hold it there for a minute or two. Or if that one's a little too big, use one like this. Here's a shot of the small board with my hand covering it. Check out how it penetrates. Goes right through the fingers. Here's a quick shot of the 880 board. They're all lit up. It's just kind of hard to tell because if they're facing in a slightly different direction, it'll look like they're not, see? Again, if you're not looking at this through a camera, it just looks like it's off. You won't see any of that. They sell these things very similar to this I've seen for $4,000. They sell these small ones for like $1,000. Something about this size I've seen for $4,000. What a ripoff. It's exactly the same thing, essentially. I never went beyond the like prototype stage, you know, where you just plug these in because that's a hell of a job. If you're going to solder them all, you might as well just use a board like this. Then if any of them burn out or start blinking, just pop them out put a new one in. All right, so here's a quick rundown on how to make these panels. It's just a series of lights and one long string that goes back and forth. So you could think of this all spread out in a line. These, these light emitting dials are basically all just in one straight line, except on the board, of course, you just go back and forth. So the way it works is you start with the leads right here, and then each diode has a positive and a negative side, the negative being the shorter one, positive is a little longer, and you just line it up, drop it in, and then these set of holes right here are all connected under the surface, so you just put one, two, three, in this case three will fit, then you have to have jumper wires because underneath it's not connected, so electrically to get these to connect all the way across, you put in two small jumper wires across, like this, and then that'll connect these, then three more in a row. Then, you have your series of jumper wires here, because these lines are not connected all together underneath the board. So you just jump over two and over two. Now you have another line. Now you put in another six or so, and then jump from that row with two of these, up to to the next set and it literally just goes all the way back and forth with jumper wires all the way all the way across all the way down and all the way through you can see you get the two jumpers on the sides and the two in the middle And you just feed them in one at a time. Like that. So three, jump over to connect. We'll put another three. And then you just jump up a row or two and go over and do the same thing. So all, you, all you're essentially doing is going back and forth. Now one thing people will say is, don't you need to use resistors in here? And you do at certain intervals if all the diodes aren't from the same batch. But what I do is I buy them all at the same time, usually a hundred at a time. There's certain electronics distributors online. Uh, there's one called Jamico or Jamico, not sure how they pronounce it, but that's where I usually get mine. And you can get a hundred of them for... I forgot what it is now, because I made these a few years ago, but it's basically nothing. I mean, they'll sell you like a hundred packs at a time.
again, to use this thing, they recommend about 90 seconds per spot. So you'd hold it 90 seconds there, then move it 90 seconds there, 90 seconds here, wherever it's sore. And I've always found that it does absolutely help heal. I'm not a big alternative medicine guy, but I was looking for ways to just kind of heal up that soreness you get sometimes, like in your elbow area, back of your arm, little tendonitis or bursitis, maybe in the shoulder, knuckles. Just hold it like that, 90 seconds here, 90 seconds there, 90 seconds here, wherever. That's just for the light effect of the 660 nanometers. You can also hold it longer if you just want the heat. Individually, these don't put out as much heat, but when you got a hundred of them, it's pretty warm. Generally, though, not too warm. It's pretty good. So the ones I was just showing you, these are 660 nanometer. They're 2700 millicandela, and they have the clear dome. These also have the clear dome, because you want to use that. They're 50 millicandelas, so they're like, they use more power. That's because they're 880s. They're actually invisible. You can't see them. When they're on, the only way you can see them is if you look through like a camera and they'll show up as white light, but it's actually infrared. So when they're on, you can't even tell other than that they're warm. But I did tons of experimenting over a couple of years with the 660s and the 880s. The 880s, in my opinion, they're not really worth it. They, for me, they didn't do, they were no better. For me, they just didn't work. I use them a lot, but comparing to the 660, just isn't worth it. Doesn't seem to really do very much. Too lazy to count these, but I think it's 60 or 65 on this one. This one I packed them in as tight as you can on one of these boards, so that's like 85, I think, 84, 85 of them. Actually, of the two, this is the one I use the most, and then I made a longer version of this one. This one and this one are exactly the same, but this one's just roughly twice as long on a longer board. About twice the length. So this one is a little over 100. It's like 110 or something. This one's about 60. Of all the ones I've made, these are the two are my favorite. This one's probably second favorite, but it's packed, you know, just packed a little tighter, but didn't seem to matter.